Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will learn CI request reply step to post not been put data to create a new product using HTTP adapter. So now, let's go to our notepad. So, I will copy this URL and paste over here. So for this example, uh, we want to do post. So we need to have write access. So this service dot data dot org, uh, this link provides a write permission to read and write. So here now I will click on browse full access, and here we are going to use Odata v2. So v2, click on. That. After that, uh, here you can see that uh, our unique Notwin ID is being generated and it's different for each call. Now I will go to our Postman. Uh, so before the actual development start, we will check this in our Postman. It's working fine or not. So we will see the metadata. So here I have entered in Postman. So after that, um, we will see our metadata. We will click on send so this unique northwin id i have copied from here this is a unique northwin id i have copied simply copied from copied from here and pasted over here and then click on send so our metadata is absolutely working fine then after that uh, we will click on create product using json format to see the data in json format so in the same way I have copied uh, not been a unique ID and pasted over here and then click on send. Here you can see that our unique not been ID uh, is being generated and we can see our get product in our JSON format. After that in same operation we will do with XML and click on next and we have got 200 ok so this is also working fine we can see the product in xml format now we will do a post product using json so, so uh, this is the payload so how uh, i have generated this payload i will show you we have to go in get product in json format after that here you can see that uh, this uh, is the payload from here I have copied the payload and pasted over here here and I have uh, copied the not ID also uh, of post method and then uh, I will change the ID to 30 then click on save and then send so you can see that uh, 201 is been created here our order our product id with uh, 30 is been created so how to check this i will show you you have to go in get product in json format then click on send here we will search 30 so here you can see that our id with 30 has been generated so in the same way we will do it for uh, xml so this is the payload for xml so how i got this i will show you we have to go in red product xml the namespace part i have copied from here and the payload part i have copied from content type to price uh, decimal so here from here i have copied the uh, xml payload so now we will go to our post product using xml we will change id as uh, 30 and then click on save and then click on send so here you can see that 201 is been created our uh, product id in 30 is been created so now we will check with uh, in uh, get product xml then we will click on send our product ID with 30 
has been created as here you can see that our product id with 30 is been created so these all operations uh, we are going to um, perform in our ci that is integration suite so now let us go to our integration suite so now i have entered into our integration suite now uh, so this package i have already created now i have created and also i have created integration flow of a post create product using http i will enter in this flow then the first step will be our we will edit our file flow after editing our file flow we will connect sender to the start then select adapter type as https then we will go to https adapter in, in that connection we will give her our address like post create product using http json so we will offer crf protection then after that we will add a request reply and here we will go to external call and select a request reply after that we will connect request reply to our receiver and here we will select adapter type as http after that we will go to our http and then in the connection tab we will on our postman in the connection tab you will copy this url and paste over here and our proxy type will be internet method will be post and uh, authentication will be basic oh, sorry none as there is no authentication after that we will add a content modifier over here after adding content modifier We'll open a content modifier here in the message header we'll set content type then in the source value we'll add application dot json application slides json then we'll add also accept accept in application slash json then we'll click on save after that we'll deploy a flow Here you can see that our post product using HTTP has been deployed successfully. Then we will go to our monitor tab. And here you can see that navigate to manage integration content. You have to click over here. that will refresh so so you can see over here over here our endpoint has been generated we'll copy this endpoint and go to our postman and here we'll post our sorry paste our link and post this payload so we'll click on save and then next so authorization part I have already set and also told you how we can set this authorization you can follow our playlist for that so here you can see that our, our product ID with a 51 is been uh, posted successfully now we will check over here in get product 
json we'll see on send so here you can search my product id as 51 so here you can see that our product id with 51 has been posted so now we'll uh, do same operation with uh, xml now i will go back to our integration suite now i will go to our request reply package so i will copy this package as now we are going to do same with uh, http so we are now going to do this operation with xml so i will click on copy then open this form after that here in the http we will change the url of address so we will go back to our postman and copy the url from here we will edit this after editing we will copy this and paste here so our method will be post proxy type will be internet and same configuration as we have done for our previous json so after that content uh, type will set as application slash atom plus xml will remove this except then we'll click on save and then we'll deploy this iflow we'll click on ok so now you can see over here it is the xml format has been successfully deployed we'll go to our deployment status So now we have got our endpoint, we will copy this endpoint, go to our postman and paste over here. Click on save and then id will change to as 49 and click on send. So here you can see that 201 created, our id with the 49 has been posted. So now we will check in get product xml we will send this first and now here we will search as 49 so id with 49 here you can see that id with 49 have been posted so uh, we have achieved this in using uh, integration sort and so Thank you guys, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.